G'day, I'm Chris and this is Game Chambers. We are back with Wrath of the Righteous, a new Pathfinder game from Our Cat Games. And I've uh, been playing through this just a little bit. And we actually went back and had a look through my GM notes to see what was actually different for the adventure. Because this, this is a game that I ran back in 2012 for my gaming group. And it's surprising to see a few little things that have changed here and there. Especially with the start. So I didn't actually realise that it wasn't Daskari that killed... Um, uh, Terendelev in the original adventure, so it was a different demon. I'm not going to mention who it is in case that's a spoiler. That demon might still have a role to play in our cat's rendition of the game, but but it was very interesting to see that they had actually changed that to bring Daskari forward in the storyline. And there's a few different um, things with the stuff going on underground, and especially how I ran it. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen going forward. So let's jump straight back into it and see where we're at. I think we had just met the mongrels down the bottom. We'd found Holy Sword and had a bit of a story part where I think we attained our mythic power. Uh, what happened there? Now what is that? Did I forget to save after I did that? Let's let's just make sure. I think I forgot to save, so the continue might have been going to an auto save or something. No. Okay, this is the correct save. Okay, so I don't know why, why we were moving there. Alright, so we just had a bit of a story bit where we we found out about the um, an angel that had died fighting against Daskari. So Daskari is definitely getting a lot more screen time at the early stages in this than it did in the actual uh, adventure path. What have we got here? we got a skill check. Okay, that's just because we need to make a mobility check to get across there. We're not going to do that yet. We've got a few more loot things to get. Yeah, we don't want to leave any loot behind. And then we've got to have a look at what these new ca characters are that have joined us. So we've got a couple of uh, new people here. So let's see what we've got. This here is Lan. He's a Zen Archer. So a Zen Archer is a, uh, a monk that shoots using his wisdom. So he's got some really high stats here. High strength, dex, and wisdom. Uh, it's interesting that he's still got the high strength and dex when he's got the high wisdom. Uh, let's see, he's got a longbow, decent armor class, because he adds his wisdom bonus to his armor class as well, being a a monk. Where are we go? So he's his story. Distorted, not broken. Land the mongrel is a curious sight even for the distorted land of the world wound. A descendant of the first crusaders, a child of the caves beneath Canabras, he followed his new leader up toward the light of the foreign sky. Okay, so that must be me. Seems that nothing can shake his composure, but is that really true? How strong is a man's resolve built on a self-imposed death sentence? Okay, so these have become actual player characters. I like that. They were in the original Adventure Path. Um, I don't think I'm going to use him for long. I'm not a big fan of the Zen Archer as a class. Uh, here we go. <coughs> it does get flurry with the archery. It does get a couple of reflexes. It's interesting. Gives him additional attacks of opportunity, but he's an archer. I mean, he can make attacks of opportunity as a Zen archer because he's always armed. If they've implemented that, interesting point blank shot. Strike. Okay, well that's an interesting choice of a character. Let's see what we got here. Wendwag, you are dex based character, neutral evil. What was really? You're lawful neutral. Okay. Survival of the fittest. A deadly and cunning huntress from the Mongol tribe left her home to travel to the surface with a new commander. She inhabited a fresh, harsh and brutal world where the weak inevitably became prey for the strong, so she chose to be strong. Is there anything in the world she wouldn't do in her quest for power, or will survival always remain her primary instinct? Uh, what class are you? Does it tell me? Oh, just a fighter. Okay. Definitely a dex fighter with. Maybe you got. Hmm, worship Lamash do. Well, you're not going to be around for very long. I can guarantee you that. Just a regular fighter with point blank shot and precise shot. Okay. Yeah, well, you will be gone as soon as possible. And you, Camellia. 
I am pretty sure that you are not good. I have a suspicion that this might be a, um, a character from the original adventure path, but I am not sure as yet. Yes. Oh, there she is. Okay. So let's have the archers out and back a little bit and we'll go with that sort of formation. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get across here. Thanks, Lamb. You're so awesome, Lamb. Okay, rolling the dice. So character lamb cut a result of twenty. The difficulty check was twelve since okay. So this is saying that he has to roll a dice to make the check. Not every character has to make it, which is why everyone is praising Lamb for getting them through. Which is a cool little addition to that. That was, um, we got giant spider, hey? Every event is documented in the combat log. There you can see the results of your roles, of your characters, enemy skill checks. If you're unhappy, check out the details of the role. Yep. Alright, so that's down here. You can see the law of nature failed. Alright. Uh, let's make sure Sealer is up front for this fight. Got a lot of range going on here. Well, let's make sure we don't go beyond our move action. So we'll come up to here, and we won't blind this guy down here, or attempt to storm burst on him. Is that an area? Yeah, it's supposed to be around a creature. Oh yeah, there it is. It's on him there. Okay, it's the end of Emerald's turn. Camellia. Uh, let's. Let's do this, and then we will just five foot step towards this guy. Okay. Young giant spider, can you make your way up? Yeah, you can fit. Pretty high attack bonus, actually. Oh, so that was a surprise round. That's weird, a surprise round to actually even occur in that situation when you can see the enemies. Um, it's something, I guess, technically correct by the rules, but it's not something you would generally bother with in a real game. I missed that attack. Alright, Lan. It's, so he's got two shots. Let's see. Let's see your abilities here. So, point blank shot we don't need down there. Perfect strike. Once per day, so we want to put that on the bar. Inspire Rage. Um, I, we can't rage with a bow, we don't want that turned on. Okay, so you don't really have any any options here, so let's hit the one that's not in... Did you have Precise Strike, actually? Did you have Precise Strike uh, abilities? Feats. Perfect strike, point blank shot. You don't have a precise shot yet. So we'll shoot the one that's not in combat. I'll go with the, start with the young one. Yep, cool. Two hits. Nice work, Lan. Another spider coming up. Okay, good. Wind dog. Now she has precise strike, so let's but let's finish off the wounded one first. Keep them at the back, because that's what you do with ranged characters. Surprised to get two ranged characters this early on. Uh, so we're going to start making our way around. We'll go with the young... Oh, can't reach the young one? Okay. Actual one. No good. Alright, so the one that we cursed is already out of being cursed. So let's... Just drop this, because they're in combat. We're never going to hit them. Three damage? Cool, we'll take it. We got three archers on our back line now. Whew. She's doing some decent damage in there. Uh, Camellia might have to heal here. She's getting it quite low. The spirits demand your blood. Get a bit of damage on that young spider. I think she's actually got another heal. Yeah, she does have another heal. Okay, doesn't have precise strike, but let's just shoot into combat anyway. If you need a 13, you got an 18. That's pretty good. Okay. Just heal yourself there. And any loot? No loot. Okay, let's keep moving. 
What do we have here? Got some rubble. We're not going to try and get across that just yet. We will look around a bit first. So, oh, let's have a look at our map. Yeah, that's probably worth trying to get across that. Anything interesting? Oh, inflict scrolls. Okay. Let's have a look. The mongrel did it. Alright, so what did you need to roll there, Lar? Huh? 11. Ooh, he only rolled a 4. Okay, what do we got? Oh, small earth elementals. Okay. A bit tanky here. Beg me to stop. Okay, not too bad. Tends to hit him. Alright, Sila. We can't. We can't use Smite on them. Do I want to actually get her in there yet? I think I do. Let's just get her right in there. Get her surrounded. Okay, cool. Sealer is in there. She's going to draw the aggro. Is this going to be a tough... No, we might still have a tougher fight coming. So I do want to conserve. Yeah, we're going to get her in there. I do want to conserve her magic a little bit if I can. I can get back one spell with that ability she's got. Alright, it's cool. We're taking a few swings. That is fine. Let's shoot this one. Emeralda, you're going to need a few levels before you're useful. Actually, probably level 2. 2 or 3, she should start to come online a little bit. Alright, let's... The archers at level 1 are not going to be super effective. Oh, because I did a full attack, he attacked the same thing twice, did he? Not sure. Let's just see what my options are there. Ooh, straight down in one, one hit. What is he rolling? D6 plus 7! Oh! Okay, that's why she went down. Now, Sealer might be in a little bit of trouble there too, actually. Well, let's move around, get that guy out of combat so that our ranged units can shoot him. Yes, yeah, so that was her roll to see if she stabilized, I believe. Oh shit, Sealer went down too. Okay. Well, I don't want to waste an entangle or a burning hands on one little guy. I will drop that on him though, so that will help us a little bit. But now that he's free and in the open, hopefully we can uh, tear him down. Yeah, we did. Alright, well. Whoops. That was a little close for comfort. Well, let's see what loot we've got. Oh! <laughs> what do you know? Just the thing we needed. Let's put that on your belt. Gotta have the inflict scrolls. Uh, what else have we found? Lucky braces. So you guys aren't wearing any armor. Okay, well you might as well wear that then. It won't affect your armor class. Why is your armor class 17? Plus two from natural for being a mongrel. Huh. That's neat. Okay, so Wands of Cure Light Wounds, pretty much a quintessential item in uh, Pathfinder. 15 charges is a bit on the low side. But it'll help us uh, help keep the party running. So you basically keep these around. Uh, 750 gold, 500 charges, keeps the party running. I'm actually glad to have found that. It's not an in-combat spell, that's for sure. But it will certainly keep us up between fights. So you know, everyone's pretty much refreshed, ready to go. We got young giant Do fly. Bunch of flies paper. again. Okay. They look pretty disgusting. Um, we're not going to cast a spell here. We're going to delay until after Sealer. And then Sealer can charge on in. So I want Sealer to get all the aggro here. Oh, okay. Well, that will deal with that. 11 damage. Nice hit. One off max. Okay, well, I definitely don't want you overextending Camellia. 
Let's just come up here. Uh, is there an option to ready an action? It's not an option. Or is it an option? Is there a ready action in here? Oh, I mean, I could just get back one of these for the action. Oh, it's a free action. <laughs> Okay, well there we go. Just chill out for a bit then. I don't want to... Oh, they're only hitting Sealer on 18, so we definitely want Sealer out in the front. Alright, Emerilda. You might as well shoot that fly at the back. Nope. Wendog, shoot that fly for us. Okay, 3 damage. That's definitely need work on that, Miss Archer. And land. Uh, yeah, you shoot the fly as well. Okay. Another giant centipede in there. Ooh. Alright. Okay, let's just focus on bringing down this one here. Let's uh, lay on hands. She mustn't get that yet. Okay, Camellia. We're going to bring you around this way. You are today's sacrifice! Nope. Probably enough targets to warrant drop and burning hands. Let's try it. Go from here. We should be able to get it. Uh, not quite. Far off were we? Just a tiny little bit. Still not, uh, can we still do this? Ah, I've gone too far. Move 31. Okay. Well, bummer. Wasn't what I wanted. Natural 1. Thank you for your assistance. At least they still seem to be locked onto Sealer. You won't survive me. So I wonder if it has something similar. Probably not for these giant flies, but there was a big thing in the adventure path where basically a lot of the demons would get instantly taunted by anyone that was wearing a symbol of Aemidae. And so if you had a full tank paladin of Aemidae in the party and you're playing faithful to what the adventure was telling you, which I'm a very by the book sort of GM. Oh yeah, Emma. all your demons are going straight for your tanky paladin of Amadei, which is exactly what we had. Go for their hearts. Right, let's just go and stab this thing. Oh, didn't kill it. Yeah, definitely not gonna. Going to go and waste a spell on that now. Yeah, just keep shooting. God, come on, come on, guys. It's a, it's a centipede. One damage. Come on, somebody kill it. Alright, Anivia? No, not even Anivia is going to kill him. Sealer, there we go. 19 damage, critical hit, that's a bit of overkill. Okay, so this is explaining the attack calculation. So you make an attack roll versus a creature's armor class, taking into account any bonuses or penalties. Uh, natural tw um, 19 or 20 for a lot of weapons. Uh, some weapons get different threat ranges. So basically, a critical hit means you roll again. I'm not going to read through all this. Um, armor class, there's a bunch of different armor classes. If you want a guide to how all well mechanics work, let me know and I might do one, but I'm not going to read through the tutorials unless you desire. Uh, it does. It is a fairly complex system, but once you get the hang of it, it's fairly intuitive. It's basically you roll a d20, add or subtract the appropriate modifiers, and compare it to the target number. If you meet the target number, then you succeed at whatever you're trying to do, whether that be an attack roll or a skill check or anything of the sort. And now let's top up Sealer. Keep moving. What's with this? More spiders. A lot of spiders down here. Hey, Windog. Oh, I can't shoot this one. Interesting. Can't shoot that one. No match for me. Shoot the one at the back. 
Uh, it's going for Camellia. It's going to hurt. Okay. What's that there? Yeah, she found another bit of loot. I don't think we got close enough to flank there. Oh, we did. Actually, I don't even think... That's interesting. I need to check the implementation of flanking. So in Pathfinder, flanking was just implemented if you had two characters. Uh, in Sorry, in Kingmaker, their original fat, uh, Alcat Games game, they implemented flanking in that if you had two characters within uh, engaging of a single target, then they would count as flanking. And then they would get the plus two. You didn't have to be fighting through them. In uh, original Pathfinder, you had to be fighting across the enemy, so drawing a line through the either side of their square. So we're going to try. I'm going to try just moving side by side with Sealer and see if I still get the flank. Yeah. Okay. So you only got to be next to them. Two next to them. You don't have to be fighting through them. That's good to know, and I'll definitely have to take advantage of that. Now that I'm aware that that is a how they've implemented flanking. We might actually um, increase the animation speed a touch as well, because I did see that was an option. Okay, so we did target a different enemy. That's good to know. Okay, take this one down. So close. So we don't need to worry about circling him or anything like that. We can actually just hold a front line. I don't know why she's getting sneak attack. I think that might have been a part of the flanking implementation as well. Yeah, she's You're definitely going to need a heal. We got while we're playing, we can option. So let's go to party animation speed. Let's go up to. We'll just double all the animation speeds and see how it looks. Let's see how playable this is. Maybe a little bit too quick. I'm gonna speed it up a bit, but drop it 1.5. See how that goes. Okay, let's see what do we got. We got the loot up here. Regular karma, masterwork, great sword. Uh, have we got anyone that's proficient? A sealer would be proficient in that. And great sword on a paladin is never a bad thing. At the moment, though, I needed to have that armor class because I'm relying on her as a frontliner just to keep the uh, the focus away from everybody else. And at the moment, only 14 constitution. She's not the toughest of paladins, so we'll um, oh, we have a story here. When Dog glances at Lan, who is fixing his slipped bowstring, and quickly walks over to you, her cat-like eyes glow from beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you, don't show the light of heaven to Sul. Okay. Lan is sure the light should be shown to the mongrels. I thought you considered the mongrels to be great warriors. Don't you want to save the kids lost in the maze, or I'll think about it. Hmm. Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. Lan. Wendell grimaces and a guttural husky snarl unfurls in her throat. He wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? To me, it sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to heart and follow where he leads. Well, I thought you considered the mongrels to be great warriors. The descendants of great warriors. I believe that my people are worthy of greatness, that we are strong and can do many things. That's why we were chased down here. We scared people. 
but it's one thing to go hunting in the caves and another to fight in the shield maze. Wendog leans closer, her pupils dilating. I've been there. I've spent my whole life training so I can make it through all the way to the end. There were more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple of monsters when there's a whole world out there waiting for us? That's what we thought. But we weren't prepared. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's cunning and full of traps. It's dark as the primordial night. And if you close your eyes and listen, you hear whispers right behind you. And soft singing in the distance that seems to rise and fall with the beating of your heart. When Dog looks away. I had to learn from my friends' mistakes. I had to step over their bodies and go further. I don't want to have to do that again. And it will happen again if a crowd of ill-prepared fighters burst into the maze with no idea where they're going, all because Lan believes that a glowing sword will solve all of our problems. Huh. Well, she kind of explained this one here. I don't really need to talk about that. Don't you want to save the kids lost in the maze? But we're going to do that. Yeah. When Dog no nods, don't show the chief the light and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface. I swear it. It's interesting. See, we've looked at her character sheet and we know she's evil. But does that... Is she? She doesn't seem evil. Leaving a location. Click this icon to leave a location. Okay, so this is gather your party before venturing forth and we go to Nithome. If an angel can fall, does that mean that a demon can ascend? Well, yes it does. Yes, it does indeed. Redemption was a big part of this adventure path. What do we have here? We got some mongrels. Hey guys, here's a going? Has the maze really collapsed? We have nothing to feed you. Go to one of the other tribes. Well, we're not here to eat. Not here to eat at all. Uh. Your first impression of the mongrel village is of a squalid dump with the odours to match. Unblinking, glowing eyes watch you from the gloom and deformed shadows slope between the huts. You see some mongrels gutting white eyeless fish, while others are repairing fishing nets. All the signs of normal village life, but tense expectation hangs in the air. A heavy set, aged mongrel slowly shuffles his way toward you. The hair on his head grows in limp, wispy strands, and his face has a distinctively rat-like appearance with pronounced teeth and you hear a rattling sound in his chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. Uplanders, end time shall upon us indeed. Let's see if they've actually voiced him. Chief Sol, we found the angel sword, and we found the one who can wield it. The land points to you. She had a vision, and now the angel sword, together with the light of heaven, are somehow inside her. Gather the tribe. Anyone who can hold a weapon. The young ones are still alive. We can go save them. <clears throat> Sul raises his hand with ragged, broken fingernails. Ah, land. Always dreaming. Always talking. You're too hasty. Too hasty for your own good. It's going to get you in trouble. Sul eyes you up and down. An uplander with the light of heaven? That's too good for us. Our kind don't have good things happen. There's always a catch. Lan trusts people because he likes to believe. Isn't that right, Lan? I'm the chief, and I don't work on faith. Show the light. One dog stares at you intently, like a cat watching a bird, and shakes her head in warning. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Dialogue options restricted by mythic paths. 
Throughout the game, you will occasionally encounter coloured options marked as associated with a specific mythic path. These are dialogue branches that embody the spirit of a particular manifestation of mythic powers. In the earlier stages of the game, these options must be selected to gain the opportunity to set out on a corresponding mythic path. Once your mythic path is set, unique alternatives inaccessible to other mythic paths will become available to you. Interesting. Well, I don't, don't mind the angel mythic path, but... What's our option? <coughs> is there someone else on the surface? I don't see any reason why Emerolda would listen to Wendog here. Although it's a lawful versus chaos thing. Let's just talk a little bit more. Is there someone else from the surface here? Sala points off to the side. There he is. Hail and party. And Prim is a peacock just like me. Sala laughs but quickly returns to business. She's not good. Too many uplanders. She's not good. She's not right. What are you up to here? You're not one of us. We're not your kind. When the time comes, we'll come to you, not you to us. Hmm. I will help you find the lost mongrels in the maze, which you can quit hoping for. Yeah, I don't like that one. I'm not going to lie because of what she said, so let's reveal the light of heaven. Lan speaks the truth. A heavenly flame flares to life at your unspoken command. Bright, pure, dancing with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam passing through stained glass. The mongrels abandon their tasks and stare, transfixed. The light is bright, but not blinding. It is warm, but its warmth is soul deep. So we performed a lawful action there. We had to choose between law or chaos. Sul is silent for a while. Tears are streaming down his wide, pale face, but the old man doesn't even care to wipe them away. So, it's true. The angel did not forsake us. No. He came back from the dead. He came to save our children. Lan gives you a nod of thanks. The scaled half of his face is indifferent, but the human half is visibly relieved, as if he wasn't sure all this time that you would support him. Wendog hisses at you like an angry cat. See these fishermen and these hunters? These husks of men and women? Their blood will be on your hands. We have the blessing of the angels. We will survive and help the young tribesmen. I'm not responsible for others' decisions or say nothing. Hmm. I think Emerolda to say nothing here. You don't even know what to say, do you? You're a coward, and now the murderer of innocence. It's not that I don't know what to say. It's this. You didn't give me a an option that would fit the character. So. You always think the worst, Wendu. We're not on our own in this anymore. We've got allies. Well, a couple, at least. But one good fighter is worth ten bad ones. You have the right of it, Lan. But we're Nethias. We're going to wait. I sent a message to summon all of the tribes. It will take time, yes, but they will all come. They will come for the light. Wait, Lan. Wait, Uplandish. Rest a while in one of our huts. Our home is your home. <sighs> Lan sighs. All right, Chief. Understood. Let's hope that a few hours isn't the difference between life and death for these kids. If they ask me what took us so long, I'll tell them it was your decision. Wendog only grits her teeth in silence. Level advancement. Here we go. Level 2, I'm guessing. Yep, we got the pluses along the bottom. Combat victories and other achievements give your character experience points. After accumulating a certain amount of experience, a character gains a new level. Yada, yada, yada. So you get new feats, spells, skills, and increase in ability scores. You can also select which class you're going to level as well. So what's this? Fatigue. Okay, so we are going to have to sleep. Well, let's do our level ups, and then we we'll, might call it here for this session. All right, Shaman. Ah, uh, sorry, Imrilda. So she's going to stick with Shaman because this gives us Hex, and we, what we want Hex for. Uh, oh, why do we only get three skill points? Interesting. Okay. 
Uh, well, we're going to go with all the law skills. Uh, yeah. Well, you get three. All right. So the hex that we want to get is friend to animals. So this allows us to spontaneously cast our summoning spells as a druid. This is the whole reason we took augmented summoning at level one. So now we can actually do some summoning. So I think it's only a might in this game. I'm not sure how useful he'll be, but we'll get him for two rounds, so we might try him out in some of these fights up ahead. Is Emerald done? Alright, let's see what you have to offer, Sealer. Now as a Paladin, we are going to stay single classed. We're not going to do anything fancy with you. Uh, select it. So skills-wise for a Paladin. Go with Law Religion. Because we don't have it anywhere else. Why have you got mobility? <laughs> We're never going to overcome your your penalties. Emerald has got the other it's covered, and we'll go with persuasion as well. And now I've got lay on hands. Excellent. It's a little bit of emergency in combat healing. Now, what is a spirit hunt to so, say? I don't like you, Camellia. You are the same class as Imerilda, just with a different archetype. You're not going to last, so let's just do whatever with you. Ah, uh, but you've got Trickery. What's your stat distribution like? Could we go into... Where are we? Uh, why are you fatigued? So you got really high dex. High wisdom. And you've got trickery. Can we take you into a different class? We're going to think about you for a minute. Okay, this is Zen Archer. What are you going to get? Weapon focus here. Yeah, we definitely want to take at least two levels of Zen Archer and then we'll consider what we're doing there. So perception, sure. Mobility and athletics, sure. Alright. Bonus feat, you're definitely going to need precise shot. And we're going to go with a longbow. Okay, cool. Wendog. Um, hmm. Not sure what to do with you yet either. Let's have a look at your stats. I don't think you're going to stick around, to be honest. I think you are actually going to betray me and leave me. But why are you a fighter and not a ranger? I swear I am a little bit confused. Or even a slayer. Camellia, we are going to be able to shift into something else. Because I don't need you as a caster. All right, what can we do with you then? So you're a spirit hunter shaman at the moment. What is your key thing there? It you can enhance your weapon. Okay, cool. How can we take advantage of that? So what will I lose? Uh, what have we got here? This is just your normal bonuses. You're still going to get hexes, so you're going to lose your hexes. We would have to go all the way to fifth level to get a spirit enhancement, which would also let us get uh, third level shaman spells. In faith, courtier, and trickery skill bonus. Well, let's take you into something that can actually take use, make use of that. High dex. What do we got here? Underground chemists. Is that like an alchemist? No. We do have a high wisdom, and it'd be a shame to let that go to go to waste. I have to get some trap finding though. What does this at class actually get? And when minor magical abilities. Okay, too worried about that. Rowdy. Uh, no. Master of all? No. That's the Bardic Knowledge. Odric Scoundrel. No. Ah, uh, so base rogue, possibly an option there for us. That's about really the only option for you, isn't it? 
Scald, Slayer, Sorcerer. We could take you down War Priest, but there's no point. We've already we're if we're gonna drop out of a casting class, we're not jumping into another one. Ruin and Paladin. Oh, because we don't meet the prerequisites. Uh, we could just stick with the Spirit Hunter, but what are we going to get? We're just going to get a Hex. Uh, which is very handy, I suppose. There are some good Hexes in here. I feel like just taking your full Rogue for the Trap Hunting is the way to go here, though. And we'll just go standard rogue as well. Okay, so we go trickery, stealth, get perception, and that's about all we need you to be able to do, isn't it? So we'll put some A point in use magic device. Okay, so you can take rogue proficiency trail finding. Cool. And when dog, I'm pretty sure you're going to leave me. Uh, if we go with another level of fighter, two level dip in fighter is never bad because it picks you up a second combat feat as well. So we're going to do that. Um, let's go with mobility and oh, that's not a class skill, athletics. And well, your persuasion's so low it doesn't matter anyway. Two points in athletics, whatever. Bonus combat feat, what do we have? Uh, deadly aim, probably, so what do we got at the moment? We have point blank, we have precise shot. Where's rapid shot? Rapid shot? Rapid shot. It's the next most logical one to put in there. Rapid shot. Oh, complete. All right, so that's everyone's level ups done. Let's uh, check spell books. How do we do that again? Spell book. Have an additional one here to prepare. Uh, what are we going to have? Probably another entanglement. A sleep, maybe. We're not fighting the monsters that can really be put to sleep. Bless is always good to have, and these can be swapped out for. Summon nature's allies now. So you've just got two heals. I'm not opposed to that at all, actually. So we're just going to keep you with the. Uh, did I put a bless in? I put a bless in, didn't I? You've got an enlarged person already. Burning hands is not a good spell. How do I unlearn that? I am far better off with a sleep or a cure or another entangle or even a remove fear. We'll put the remove fear on you and uh, no, your front line, you're more likely to cop it. So you. We're pretty happy with that. Sleep has got. Or hit die, yeah, it's not going to be much use. Unbreakable heart. We're going to stick with that for now. Burning hands was not going to be useful at all. I don't really feel to kill a light, it's going to be that super useful, but. Okay, cool. Now, where was our option to sleep? Let's clean up everything in this little town. As soon as we hit the hay, we will wrap up there. It's got the usual usual rules where looting your allies doesn't bother them. I thought we had you said we could sleep somewhere here. Where can we rest? We have to talk to him again, do we? Eh? Are we uplanders prisoners or guests here? Have you tried weapons against us? No. Have you killed us? No. Have you stolen our food? <laughs> uh, technically, yes. No. Guests. Okay. 
ask a few questions. Um, tell me about mongrels. Uh -huh. Ah, well, we are the Crusaders under the ground. The children of the first Crusaders. The world wound touches everyone. Look at us. We are all marked by it. The uplanders did not like it. They drove us down here, but we have a secret. Sal's one good eye twinkles slyly. We're waiting. When the shield may is false, that is the end of our lives down here. We will go up to the surface to fight. Until then, we don't. Our flesh is here. But now we have all seen the light of heaven. Now we can go. What other signs do we need? We must fulfill our crusader duty. Uh, do we really want to know about the wind dog and land? Alright, tell me about Windor. Ah, Windor, our beauty, our huntress. Who is more skilled than Windor? There are braver fighters, yes, but braver does mean skilled. Windor is the only one to go in the maze and come out again. The others listen to everything she has to say. Tell me about Lan. Lan. Sol makes a vague gesture. He is not one of us. No, not one of us. His father was one of us, but his mother, no. They took him up to the surface. They ruined him as a child. Then they came back, but he wasn't one of us. A good hunter, yes, but he feels trapped down here. But he can't go up there either. She's not safe. He wouldn't lash Kalong a gong. Thank you for your answers. I want to look around here. So how do I sleep? Do I just hit the camp button here? You cannot rest here. No, I do not just hit the camp button here. Uh, hunt. Hunt for resting. How do I get that way then? Am I looking at this from the wrong angle? Ah, uh, here. No. We go back down here, do I? Ha! A human face, at last! And here I thought that I'd been gazing upon the twisted visages of these troglodytes for the rest of my life. Well, great. Look like some pompous noble. An elderly man in expensive but not ostentatious clothes approaches you. His face is peppered with several healed cuts and bruises and twisted in an expression of extreme discontent. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hogus Gwarm. Yes, that Gwarm. You have no doubt heard of me if you spent any time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for you. Your name tells me nothing. Who are you? You truly are freshly arrived in the city then. You couldn't have picked a worse time, that's for certain. Only just arrived and the city's been raised to rubble. You should know that you are looking at one of the richest and most distinguished men in Canabras. I may not be as well known as certain swaggering loudmouths who spend their lives traipsing from one ball to the next, but the Gwarm Trading Company is one of the pillars of the cities, I'll have you know. Did you see the marquees in the square? I paid for those. Tried any festival delicacies? You have her August Gwarm to thank for that. Well, obviously he fell. Why is that a question? What kind of business proposition? I don't know what is happening on the surface right now, but I am determined to find out. You have no intention of seeing out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect. We must find a route back to the surface, to the city, if there's anything left of it. Are you a medium or some kind of an oracle? It's not my field of expertise, but I can see that although you don't wear any divine oracles, you do have divine power. Do not worry, I am not one of the inquisitors from Hulrun's gang. I don't care about such things. What matters for me is the reliability of my potential companion. We're pretty close. We're not a medium or an oracle, but she is a... Um, well, she's a shaman. She's a bit of a... a I guess a bit of an oracle, yeah. A bit of a fortune teller. You are strong, it will be no trouble to you. But I, alas, am not as fit as I once was. I can't go... Th crawling about through caves, playing at scouts? My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. Yep, sure. I suggest we help this man. It is good to have friends amongst the Canabras elite. 
Money first. Diplomacy 16. 2,000 gold. Got a plus 9 to that. It's a pretty good chance of pulling that off. Let's do it. 2,000 gold. August's gaze is piercing. Are you taking advantage of my dire circumstances? Very well. Make it 2,000. Alright. Um, deal. You have a deal, Horgus. Splendid. In the meantime, I shall sit here in the village. And we have to go. We need to go and arrest. Go on, go on. Don't forget our agreement. When you find the way out, be sure to tell me. Yep. Alright. Gwen Family Secrets. Clear a path to the surface for Horgus. Whoops. We will do that because... 2,000 gold is pretty essential for new adventurers. So where is this sleeping point? Tent for sleeping was... That's where Horgus is sitting. Okay. And Nivea's here too. Got anything to say, Nivea? This tragedy may not have happened if you spent less time surveilling honest citizens and more time tracking the real spies and demon worshippers. Brilliant idea. How come I didn't think of it? Now, if only the cultists would tell us they were cultists, then we wouldn't have to waste time investigating honest citizens who decide to go all cloak and dagger right under our noses. August and Anevia sit some distance apart, sniping at one another in an idle fashion that testifies to their long acquaintance and mutual dislike. When they notice you, they quickly fall silent. Anevia howls a leg. The girl scrunches up her nose. Well, it hasn't fallen off yet, so that's good. They bandaged me up all nice and smeared some stinking stuff on the wound, so it looks like I'm going to live. They said, wait a day and I'll be right as rain. So I'm waiting. Uh, what do you think of the... What do you think of the mongrels? I thought they were just a story, the sort of things drunks in the taverns would come out with. Now I discover that it's true. Well, what can I possibly think of them? The poor creatures are most unfortunate. Their faces and their minds so deformed, it's a miracle they're even alive. The part that boggles my mind is that they're the descendants of the First Crusaders. All these years they've been living beneath our feet, in caves in the dirt. If I'd have known the legends about them were true, I'd have dedicated my life to getting them out of this place. Well, okay then. To what end? If the people of Canabras would have stoned them on sight, and Prelate Holrun would have had them tossed on the pyre en masse. Whatever the ills of their pl this place, it is their home. How long do you think they would have survived on the surface? You know, August seems like a decent dude. What are you going to do when you get back to the surface? I'm going to go home. Last I knew I owned a very fine mansion. I shall, shall see if it's still standing, or if I am now homeless. I'm going to find Irabeth. She's my wife and the leader of the Eagle Watch. As long as she lives, she won't allow Canabras to fall. Um, do we care about the bad blood? As Imerilda? Probably not right now. We have to go. Go on then and don't dilly-dally. The sooner we get out of here, the likelier we are to find some people still alive up there. Take care of yourself. Oh, actually, from memory, I think Anevia is actually... She's... She remind... Eh. I'm trying to remember things from... So, saying she was Irabeth's wife, I think, reminds me of something, but I don't remember. So we have a vendor here. She can buy trophies from us. You there! A tall woman with a face deformed by an enormous swelling smile. Smile... <laughs> enormous... Swelling smiles broadly at you, showing off her double row of small, sharp teeth. You, from the surface, you must be tough to make it all the way here. Never thought I'd see the day. Call me Dryer. Let's trade. Let's trade? Why are you so eager to trade with me? Because all the people here are no better than animals now. Dryer yells with surprising anger before being overcome with coughing. Wiping her mouth, she continues, Our forefathers lived in that city like you. Our people loved to reminisce about armies, knights, crusades, but I couldn't care less about that. Savages with clubs can fight a war. Only civilized folk can buy and sell. 
They've all forgotten what trading is. They've forgotten the value of gold. They barter hides for plant roots and go on about the feats of the Crusaders. Who cares about them? I don't need help remembering. I have coins and I have things to sell. Now let's trade like proper city folk. Sure. Let's have a look. And what do you have? See, you've got a cold iron masterwork great axe. It sounds like it could be handy to have. <coughs> some padded armor, some potions, scrolls, a bastard sword, quiver of cold iron ammunition. So that's probably worth grabbing. So you can shoot 20, it says 20 and it's a cold iron. Okay. <coughs> Bulk selling. Oh, that is beautiful. So that just puts all the junk straight in. Okay, rainbow quartz, we're going to keep that. So the rest of this stuff's not junk, but some of it we don't need. So these oh, shields we don't need. We're going to keep the cold iron mace. Normal flail, karma, mace. What's this one? A long sword. Masterwork like crossbow. Well, we should be using that. Um, so we better go re-equip that. We're not selling Terendal of Scales, or that, or the Bone Meal. What's this one? Caustic Mold. Okay, got 183 gold, 717. Is it gold? It's a weird symbol to use for gold. Red target symbols. What is this? Necessary to clean and safely consume any food in the corrupted wastelands of the world wound. <coughs> I guess that's all the junk we just sold her. Uh, okay, Dryer, we don't need anything from you right now. We are trying to find this spot that we can rest. I think we just picked up some more junk. Oh, we'll sell it later. Rest, here we go. There we go, this way we're going to wrap it up. As time passes, your characters become tired. As we can see down here, we're fatigued. They'll recover a portion of their lost hit points, spellcasters replenish their spells, and get rid of some negative conditions. Um, hopefully they cast all their healing spells on rest as well. It doesn't matter at the moment, we're not injured, but uh, that's usually an option in, or was an option in Pathfinder. Let's quickly grab all this loot while we're standing around. So we don't forget about it. Oh, we can keep going that way. Okay, no, we're not going to keep going right now. Let's go have a rest, and then we're going to wrap this up. Okay, and we will end it right... Oh, we've got a cutscene. All the tribes. So a whole army is marching on the maze then? By mongrel standards, yes. But don't be too disappointed when you see the reality. There aren't many of us who can hold a weapon, and fewer still who can do any damage with one. Uh, we know what happened to Wendok, so do we have to even ask him? What about Anevia and Horgus? Are we just going to leave them here? Well, of course we are. Are you sure the maze is the only way to the surface? Len nods. There was another passage. The one I used with my dad when we left and then came back. The chief back then, he found it and filled it in to stop anybody else going against the ancestors' wishes. And what the ancestors wanted was for everyone to go through the maze. I'm not sure of anything right now, but we don't have a choice. We can only go forward. There were other passengers, but they're far from here, and with all these earthquakes, who knows what condition they're in now. So our best bet is this is a maze. If it doesn't lead anywhere, then we consider our next move. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Let's go, but before we do, thank you. I was so happy, I forgot to thank you before, but you've done something no one else has in a long time. You've given the mongrels hope. It's like we're starting to believe that we're worth something now that we have the power of the angels on our side. Lan's face grows sullen. It won't change anything, of course, but at least you'll help us save the young ones. Hopefully. Let's go through the main gate. Straight road is the shortest. Okay, and there we go. So next session we are going to go looking for the gate and we are going to storm this maze. There we go. So if you've enjoyed this content so far, if there's anything else you would like to see, please let me know. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and we will see you in the next video.